All right, so we're at my place, and it's been snowing pretty continuously for the last 24 hours. It just stopped, and schools have been closed, the roads have been shut down, and right now the snow doesn't look too deep because it turned to ice, and it melted some of the snow that we got, so it looks pretty pretty uh, shallow, but i got to go down the driveway with the 4020 and the blade to make sure that I can get out because I don't want to get stuck as I'm leaving, so... Let's go. That doesn't look too bad. Oh, this wind. Here's the 4020. Got it plugged in because it doesn't start if it's not. We got the chains on this and we have a blade that we salvaged from another farm and it works pretty good so let's get going Never forget to plug it back in. And always make sure that you can hear it start running. Alright, let's feed calves. Well, we don't have a feed bunk for these guys, so what I usually do is just give them a half bucket just to kind of keep them entertained. So, ouch, half bucket. They're going to need a bale sometime within the next few days, too. Here's our bull. Mr. Bull. All right. I've been feeding these guys down here about four buckets a day and they were up in the pole shed with the other calves but uh, for most of the winter we've had just these two these two out here in the barnyard and the steer lot well Travis and I chased the cows up into the barn and uh, sorted them out sorted those guys out from the rest of the pole shed because there was quite a size difference in there and uh, if they're down here, it's easier to feed them. So, I gotta grab my corn.
And no, we don't have any high-tech way of feeding out here yet. Uh, four buckets is all they need. And they should be good. Man has really started to become distant with nature. And back in the old days, they used to be able to just check their surroundings and know how cold it was just by connecting with their surroundings. So what I like to do sometimes is I like to close my eyes and take two deep breaths and do it with me. So, one, two. Now by doing this, it allows me to get closer with nature and my surroundings, and this way, hopefully I can tell just how cold it is. So let's go ahead and look around for any signs of how cold it is out here. <gasps> there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Now these guys get five buckets. I always put one down in the end bunk so that all the calves can get some. Okay, want to go for a run? He's like, I don't know what that means, but sure. Let's take Rocket for a run. One thing I love to do, and I really don't usually get to do it much in the winter, is just come out and like shut the four-wheeler off and just sit and listen. It's Rocket, huff and puff, because he lost the race. <laughs> but I just like to sit out here and listen to the trees, and it's really nice in the summer if you get a day where even at like 2 o'clock in the morning I'll come out here. Sometimes it'll be foggy, the moon will be out, full moon, and it's just peaceful. You don't really get much of that anymore, anywhere. So, I don't know. That's one of the things I love about living on the farm. Sometimes I feel like not everybody has quite as much respect for the peacefulness of nature as I do. Because I am quite connected with, in technology and stuff, but I also like to disconnect every now and then. It's just really peaceful out here. So that is the gist of what daily chores consist of at my place. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Be sure to comment, like, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.